103.9 FM, WOZO Radio, Knoxville. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. Hello, and welcome to the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour on WOZO Radio, 103.9 LPFM, right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're recording this on Sunday morning, August 8th, 2021. I'm Larry Rhodes, or Doubter 5, and as usual, we have our co-host, Wombat, on the line with us. Hello, Wombat. It's me, you, and we're two awesome gooses on the pond. Honk, honk. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. And with us today, we have uh, several guests. Uh, George, the two and a half. How are you? Oh, I'm the, good. Yeah, the John Richards and Swedish Steve. Oh. Hello, hello. Uh, special guest with us today is Rakshith uh, Sridharan, Sridharan uh, from oh. all the way from India. So we have uh, England, uh, Swede, Swedish. Um, Tennessee three times and, uh, and India today. So multicultural, multi an international show for sure. Very cool. Digital yes. free thought radio hour is a talk radio show about atheism, free thought, rational thought, humanism, and the sciences. And conversely, we'll also talk about religion, religious faiths, God's holy books and superstition. Uh, what are we talking about today there, Wombat? We're, we're going to be talking about our new guest, Rakshith, today. We're going to learn all about him and, and understand some really interesting obstacles that he's overcome. Uh, and I want to dive into it, but before we do, how about we just do a quick, super fast, no one's ever going to even notice it. It's going to be super fast, super quick, just summary of everyone's lives in like 30 seconds. John Richards, I've been seeing you on YouTube. You've been popping up like multiple times on my channel throughout the week. How you been? And what have you oh, been up all to? all over the place at the moment, aren't I? We had a, an Atheism UK AGM yesterday and they elected me president. So I'm officially the president of Atheism UK now. Nice. And, uh, Congratulations. And, and, uh, Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then uh, today I've already been on uh, a long show with Harris Sultan on my channel, Free Thought Productions, and his, we're co-hosting. And uh, it, I can't remember, the, oh, his channel is called uh, Sultan's House of Sin. Very it's, good um, name. I like it. Sultan's House of Sin. I love the alliteration yeah. there. Yes, there you go. So that's enough about me for the moment. John Richards, you're now the president. How long until your first impeachment? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go for record? I don't know. I'm president for this year. You have to be elected okay. every year. Very cool. Very cool. George, second and a half. How you been? Oh, I've been okay. Um, struggling, struggling with my Linux computers. Oh no. As usual. Oh no. Oh, as usual. Oh yeah. no. After selling them, I, ins uh, what I installed says that we some... make our own hell on earth. <laughs> <laughs> we make our own hell on earth. That's right. Yeah, true. A Linux computer was your choice. Hell is other people and it. Linux computers. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Right. Well, keep it up. I hope I hope Google can be your friend without taking all your data. You know, like I, I oh, hope there's no, a no, Google there. will not be my friend, but okay. it is sort of. Yeah, it is useful. Swedish Steve, uh, how do yeah. I do? <laughs> uh, oh, um, <laughs> I've had an interesting week where a, a Mormon called me. I don't know why, uh -oh, cool. um, but he stood me up when I invited him uh, home to me. So, were you not blonde enough? Was that it? <laughs> no idea. I asked if if uh, he would like to come and talk about uh, Darwin, but mm. uh, no. <laughs> Wait, what would a conversation about Darwin begin? How would that even start? How do you start a friendly conversation about Darwin with the Mormon? Uh, it's going to be rough because the, this was an American Mormon and they are sensitive. Oh, yeah. But I would say something, are you stupid? Can't you see? <laughs> and um, then I would just bombard him with some uh, statistic about different things now here's yeah. a real question would you have your throwing axe in your hand as you're talking to him or would you at least leave it next to your throwing oh, hammers oh we have a uh, mead axes it's uh, ah, or mead right. hammer so so <laughs> i will blunt blunt him to death afterwards <laughs> very cool we like you swedish steve you need to come back on this show more regularly larry rhodes 
my friend, mm-hmm. how have you been? What's yes. your shirt? What is your shirt? First, explain this shirt. Oh, it's and just then you uh, got old cars and stuff on it, palm trees. It's a, like a Hawaiian shirt. Okay, okay, okay. How you but, been? No, I just, I'm 71, so I'm staying home most of the time, especially with this new COVID outbreak, uh, the Delta yeah. variant and all that. Uh, yeah. Trying to stay in, trying to stay safe. And uh, we did take a trip yesterday down to uh, Townsend in Tennessee to get some barbecue. There's a place down there we like. But it was closed. <laughs> so yeah. we, we drove all the way down there. It was pretty drive all the way back. Um, but we did get the, some Mexican food, so that was good. Yeah, I have, I feel the same way. I went down to KFC, and I was like, I can't wait to get back into this buffet. I feel like things are opening up again. KFC's closed. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll just go to the Arby's yeah. next door. No dining in the Arby's and like half the menu. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll just go to Wendy's. We we are shut down for COVID. I was like, still? Right. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Again, oh, sometimes no. I open and come back and then close again. But that's yeah. where we're at. It's where we're at, but we're, it's mm-hmm. for the greater cause of trying to stay alive, if anything. Roxith, Roxith, Roxith. One more time, one more time. Unmute yourself and then introduce me. Introduce me to yourself, my friend. Introduce yourself to us. Oh, you're unmuted, my friend. Muted. You need you're to muted. unmute. Oh, there you go. sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so I am Can from I India and. I'm from India, and uh, so it's been like, uh, I I don't necessarily say it as a journey, but I was always uh, more open-minded and liked reading many things, knowing many things. I used to follow, uh, I was always a kind of skeptic in many ways. I liked questioning, I liked being curious. Hmm. So, you know, from my childhood, I used to read many things. I used to read about geology or about... uh, you know, science or in general, many things, even history for that matter. So what happened is in like, say, uh, even Hindu scriptures I used to read. So honestly speaking, <laughs> so many people don't even know what is there in the Hindu scriptures, but I, I was fortunate to read some of them. So uh, in that way, I used to have a comparison with Hindu scriptures on one side, scientific things on one side, and then I used to compare and see what is the rational, how it's acceptable in society. And then from then on, I started looking at more uh, like a liberal way of uh, philosophies. I even read Vedanta and all those sort of things. But still, I felt like, hey, you know what? These things may not be required ultimately. I mean, I felt like we are ultimately humans, and human body is what matters at the end of the day. I thought that... The, that that direction started me taking to reading and so you so that made me convinced that you know what it's better to be a skeptic and rational rather than being like uh, falling for any of the things and one of the things did motivate me a lot was the amount of fake news in the name of hinduism that was being spread online Mm. i mean you I don't know whether how many of you know it or not, but in India, it's like going like a flood, literal flood of shits, okay? So, you know, you will be comparing. Uh, see, the, the, we, we, we recently Olympics happened and some of our sportsmen won the medals for us. But if uh, there is a Hindu YouTube channel, they say, look, these Olympic people are doing namaste, see, they won the medal, so that means they literally need sort of justify. I'm just talking about the fringe writing. I'm not naming uh, any particular one, but I'm just mentioning a group fringe, which I would sure. like to say. Right. I want to make sure. Literally, yeah. I just want to make sure there's so many things that you just brought up right now. I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to weigh in on this. John, what was the comment yeah. that you want to throw in? Yeah, well, Rexy is uh, perfectly right, isn't he? Humans are quite nice, and the small ones make very good pets. Mm-hmm, yes. So, you you know, I was like, uh, one of the worst things that happened last year, I think I need to bring this up. So this was, I think, September 3rd last year. I remember the date, thankfully. <laughs> Armin Nawabi is an ex-Muslim atheist from Iran. He runs this atheist republic, Okay. So that's organization in Canada. So he stays in Canada right now as well. He actually, uh, earlier few days back, he even um, 
you know what you say he tore the quran apart he even had bible pages he even had quran pages so people were like especially the fringe writing in those they were literally clapping 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 wow that's great right but the moment he posted sexy kali photo saying uh, the showing in a not in a may, maybe what you could what an average uh, say uh, an orthodox or ultra orthodox in the perceive as blasphemous or say uh, something uh, like a nude nude photo okay he the, 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 the people went really berserk i'm i'm i don't have words literally okay sure i was like what the heck he just posted a photo and so, i mean if you're really talking about hindu philosophy someone is really concerned uh, they say that uh, images don't matter that don't matter praxis just to put But some no, context no, on this because we do broadcast out to tennessee so they're like what is going on well basically just just so everyone's caught up you got hindus in india and just north of that you have a lot of muslims and so there's a lot of intercultural between two religions yeah. that don't get along at all and you yeah. and you can think of it as um angels and athletics if you're in california except with a lot more that higher death count <laughs> if you want to go for that But basically <laughs> these guys don't get along but there's a double standard for how they're treated so for a lot of orthodox hindus they will laud or celebrate when someone disrespects quran or uh, islam but as soon yeah. as that person uses the same tools to try to critique or you know uh lambast hinduism those people get very upset so there's a double standard there yeah yeah uh, yeah and um larry it sounded like you want to say something are you on mute Mike? um yes i was just having a hard time understanding him uh is, your accent is a little a little high, hard for me to get past you need to go to a science uh, lab cuz this <laughs> I know this. I, I live and breathe this accent for all grad school. <laughs> yes, yeah, but I guess you're talking about Pakistan, aren't you? Uh, with the Muslim uh, so uh, for majority me, north. Of yeah, there's like there's a lot of different areas where there's concentrations of Islam uh, uh, in, in northern India. But like there's even uh -huh. Punjab region, which is very well. I, why should I talk, Rakesh? Would you mind um, yeah, yeah. talking about the so geography? Just continue. Uh huh. Would you mind just quickly outlining like the geography and like how these places relate to each other and like how uh, it is multicultural? Okay, okay. So uh, let's put it honestly. Uh, there is something called as Hindi Belt in North. Hindi is mm -hmm. a language spoken in North. In South, where I stay, I'm, I won't specify where, but I'll just say I stay in South India. So here there is uh, languages which is vastly different from Hindi. Mm -hmm. Okay, very different uh, dialects and uh, linguistic. then go to eastern india it same the story northeast india same story west also same story there is gujarati marathi and all those sort of things mm. and pakistan uh, has urdu and afghanistan has pashto bangladesh for example has bengali as the language mm. so yeah. bengali is also vastly different from hindi and other things so you know linguistic diversity is huge but just like pakistan government thinks of urdu centered this thing Indian government, at, at least at the present Indian government, I would say, and even some of the previous uh, Indian government, has always thought Hindi a centered uh, sort of administration. Now, given the linguistic diversity, I just don't think it's something logical to work with. Okay, uh, this is my perspective. Also, coming back to Armin Nawabi, where I was just stuck. Okay, so let me continue. What happened afterwards? The these people literally gave death threats. they made uh, you know pornographic photo of his real mother i mean to defend a fake mother fake goddess which no one has seen you try and do pornographic photo of his mother real mother of farmin nawabis okay they did it and they hacked the satish republic accounts twitter accounts and then they also did like uh, Uh, there is one actress called Kangana Ranauta. John, do you remember? Uh, hello, John. Hello. Do yes. To get so tomorrow, when you do live stream with Harris, do mention this lady called Kangana Ranaut. She spews the venom as you call like anything. Well, you've missed it. Unfortunately, we live streamed today, a couple of hours ago. Oh, you did it today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I thought it was for Sunday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
I okay. I thought maybe I just got confused. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah. Join so, in, join in, join in next week, and then you can either yeah, put, yeah. So put a comment this lady, in the text uh, or come on screen. Pure has pure so much venom that Twitter got her banned. And the reason for ban, I will tell you what is it. Last week, the what she posted was after Bengal elections was uh, she tagged Modi and told, "Why don't you show the form?" And the the you know the angry form which you showed it during the Gujarat riots. Why don't you show it now? Mm. She tagged uh, Modi in Twitter. That was one reason why the, the Twitter account got blocked. Sure. Because she because Modi has a very like uh, uh, you know controversial history of Gujarat riots 2002. So Rakhi, she posted on that. Rakhi, that, that, that Rakhi, banned, yeah. Rakhi, you got very very high level complaints. About Hindu, and I, and I'm, I'm, I'm totally for like the idea of like, hey, check this out. There's double standards. There's hypocrisy. There's clearly bias, and it's yeah. just not fair and it's not cool. But we're trying to follow along too. <laughs> and the thing is, <laughs> the terminology is like, I, I get the vibe. We're with you on the ride. It's just the specifics is like, you know, one of the things that we're kind of reading off from. But I can tell you, like, even from our own cultures, from our neck of the woods, we have incidents where there is bias and double standards. Yeah, for yeah, yeah, I, agree, I, agree, maybe I agree. Maybe what I would like to do is hear from examples of that. So I, I'm throwing up to Swedish Steve. He's been real good. I'm thinking like, you know, you got, you got Swedish churches that are part of the state that they pay taxes to, but not a lot of people take that church, what they say seriously. Like, is that ever a conflict for you? And has anyone ever tried to do anything about that? Or, yeah, the, the tax is a separate thing nowadays. Oh, really? Uh, since 2000, yeah. Oh. Um, so if is you it leave, voluntary? Um, yeah, you can leave it. I I don't buy. Um, but it, the hypocrisy is is uh, more in the area of uh, the free churches, the 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 really weird ones. Um, they say God loves everybody, but they condemn uh, gay priests and um, even um, women priests, female priests. Yeah, yeah, we have that yeah. too. Uh, we have and... when we went to, uh, uh, I think Larry and I went to a pride rally way, way back when, and we're marching down the streets as atheists supporting, you know, like you know, uh, rights of the gay movement, mm -hmm. and you right. had a church in front of us and a church behind us, both with signs supporting gay rights on either side of us. And you had the same church Christians on the side of the roads, holding up signs being like, you guys are evil. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I trust those guys. Cause they have the citations on their poster boards. Like <laughs> there's no, there's no question what's actually going on. Uh, we just want to feed back from everybody else. John Richard, what'd you got? Yeah, so what is it that gives these religious people the right to judge, to make decisions like that, you know, about God, who's, God gives them the who's right evil? <laughs> is it, oh, oh, right. Well, yeah. interestingly, this week just gone, Bishop Robert Barron, in somewhere in your neck of the woods, I think he's a Baptist, he's complaining because the Tokyo Olympics opening ceremony played John Lennon's Imagine. Oh. And he doesn't like the words. He, he doesn't like the words. He likes the music and the singing and the arrangement, but no, uh, what, what, how does it go? Um, imagine imagine there's no heaven. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> no hell up. below us. He doesn't like that. <laughs> he wants those things to be real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very scary because I was on the phone. I was on a call with Scott yesterday. Uh, we we're watching the Jehovah Witness Convention, and they are very clear that they believe in demons. And they talk about them as if it was like rain outside. And I just thought to myself, how bizarre is that? But then you take a step back and it's like, that's the prevailing belief of Christians that demons exist. Right. They interact mm -hmm. with people on a regular basis. And that doesn't freak anybody out. Like, that's yeah. weird. Like, well, we, but, I don't know. It's just weird. On, on my last week, not yesterday's Global Atheist News Show, but the one before, hmm. I show a clip of a Greek Orthodox. This is a variation of Christianity. Exorcism. And the poor guy who's oh, demonized and needs to be exorcised is crawling along on his hands and knees with a priest sat on his back. <laughs> <laughs> when he has to stop, he has to stop periodically and hit the ground and, and I don't know, explain that he's getting rid of his demon. And George when he eventually collapses, the priest 
stands on him. Oh no! And the, okay. And the church bell goes bong. Did he survive? Yeah, I hope so. George, second and a half. You know, you keep telling me I have no idea what's going on in the world because you were you were raised organically atheist. You never had a chance to be, you know, converted into a religion. You just stayed a fruit on the on the stem, more or less. And does any of this? Does, can we? Can, is there any way that we can explain this to you? Like the idea of people actually believing in real demons, and you and you can take it at face value, or is this all just bizarre? I yes, it's it is so bizarre to me, and um, I, I can't explain it. I am, I am utterly perplexed living here in the Bible Belt. It, it, it's such a strange experience for me. George, you would love going uh, to Sweden. It would it would blow your mind just to have that weight removed of like, the religious. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I I come from New York where it's a more of a melting pot. I mean, it's a very Catholic city, New York is. And and yet, um, but, but it's like somehow a lot of people tend to get along with each other. Sure. So I, I just didn't grow up with a whole lot of us versus them mm. mentality. And that's what I, I'm confronted with a lot here, I think, is you know, in groups and out groups and, you know, we're the good guys and those guys are the bad guys. Larry, you want to weigh on that us versus them mentality? Are, is it possible that religion fosters that kind of idea? Oh, it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all you got to do is look at Northern Ireland. They're all Christian and they still try to kill each other. <laughs> small dogmatic sure. differences that they have. That, we need to get an Irish person here because that's actually a really good conversation. It's like, you guys are both Christian and you both don't like each other. It's like, no, because they're slightly different Christians yeah. than us. Maybe it's just yes. a human nature thing, guys. Uh, yeah, isn't, that, isn't that the, the yeah. general idea of uh, um, the psychology behind the religion? Mm. That we are better than them because... Uh, We're the chosen people. Yeah. 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 For all reason. I've got a word for this. My, my word for this is religionism. Because it makes it sound like racism, which it is yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I like that. I like it. You know, mm. if I have to tell specific diverse parties, people searching for the cast of our sportsmen, religion of our sportsmen. Mm. Yes. <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> so people who look be. for caste systems, like ways yeah. to structure people based on yeah. how valuable they are, are essentially yeah. using religion to reinforce that. Right. And religion is supposed yeah. to be like, hey, yeah. everyone's equal. See, the, yeah. the entire structure of Hinduism, what you call yeah. like, it, uh, they so, might try justifying it, it is based on meritocracy. It's all BS. That's not the case. In reality, it's a hierarchical structure, and uh, one group has to dominate over the other. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. For, and, for, the benefit, for the benefit of the Americans and the Swede here, India is playing England at cricket at the moment. We're, we're involved in the test series. The first game was partially rained off, and it was declared to be a draw. But there's going to be some division in the next oh. few games. Very cool. Okay, <laughs> there's your sports update. John Ritz is appreciate it. Larry, <laughs> hey, we're at the bottom of the half hour. Why don't you take us out and we'll come back? Yeah, after. sure. Okay, this is the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. We're on WOZO Radio 103.9 LP FM right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. And we'll be right back after this short break. 103.9 FM, WOZO Radio, Knoxville. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the second half of the Digital Free Thought Radio Hour. I'm Doubter Five, and we're on WOZO Radio 103.9 LPFM here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Today is Sunday morning, August 8th, 2021. Now let's talk about the Atheist Society of Knoxville, or ASK. Founded in 2002, we're in our 19th year. ASK has over a thousand members and we have weekly Zoom meetings during COVID, but we've also started meeting in person again at the Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria in Knoxville's Old City out on the patio. We're usually there about 5.30 to 8 on Tuesday evenings. Hope you can join us. You can find us online on Facebook, on Meetup, or just go to knoxvilleatheist.org for more information. You can also just Google Knoxville Atheist. It's that simple. By the way, if you don't live in Knoxville, you should still go to Meetup and do a search for an atheist group in your town. 
don't find one, start one. one. That's right. One by word we want to pick up. Hey, we're talking to our friend Rakis, who's uh, uh, one of our new guest members, and we're going to be talking Hinduism and issues that we've been having with it. Maybe we even talk about how to start your own atheist group. So Rakis, Rak. Right. Oh man, Raksith. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We might just call you Rocky. That'd be good too. But anyway, there you go. Yeah, that, that, that's okay. <laughs> Rocky, let me you tell can you. Just call me the R H uh, Rocky. Nice, so that nice. That should be fine. Yeah. Rocky, tell me about Hinduism. Time. What's Hinduism 101? Can you help us out with this? Like, I know there are many gods, many, many, many gods. But yeah, beyond yeah. that, I'm not. So re- the, the fundamental things. So. Hmm. Then let, let, let's get back to simple thing. Hinduism has many, many books, unlike other religion. Okay. Hmm. Has many texts. But primary, I would say Vedas, not the primary text. The Vedas. They outline the, the basic of rituals and all those sort of things. Then you have uh, Puranas, Shastras. I think the most popular one is Bhagavad Gita. Most yes. popular one. Yep. Yeah. So that that's kind of basic to start with. What are the texts? Then you have a society, a system. So it is a caste system. Mm-hmm. or people as call it varna system whatever you like to call it division of society and then you have division in society and like military you are allowed to be doctors you're allowed to be janitors based on your last name and your upbringing, uh, like it's that, right? kind of like hereditary uh, profession hereditary mm-hmm. profession based mm-hmm. so generation to generation one even though you may not have capable but it's hereditary by birth yeah so based on who yeah. your family was, that determines who your job can be. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So if a father is a king, more likely that his son will also be a king. Mm-hmm. If your father was a priest or a person who is what we call as Brahman, okay? Brahman. Your son will also be a Brahman priest. Which yeah. is a high tier in the caste system. Yeah, yeah. 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 My ancestors, the, the British uh, colonists, uh, it was it was a... It was a business rather Hold on. than... Did you say colonist or colonist like cooks? <laughs> Colonists. I'm going through an accent <laughs> a little... All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to switch gears. Now, the, the, this has nothing to do with the colon. Thank okay. you. <laughs> keep, that, keep, keep that out of it. That's, that's okay. a dirty word. <laughs> so not so, culinary. Anyway. Yeah, got it. Yeah, not culinary either, no. Colon, colon, no, no. Let's get away from that. The thing is that... My ancestors, for which I accept no responsibility, took advantage of the in the Hindu, the Indian caste system, by appointing the top castes as agents of the crown. It was called indirect rule. We said, you guys are already bosses here, so you can now work for us. Hmm. It was a cunning Very mafia-esque, yes, yes. right? Exactly, it's... yeah. For, for a route... 800 years you guys really did know how to rule it was really great it was just like hey i'm, I'm gonna take this castle but i'm gonna give it back to you it'd be a shame yeah, if anything yeah. happened to it again right yeah, like, yeah that's right you yeah. listen to me yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. it's like a pyramid scheme <laughs> <laughs> it's you, like a it, yeah. scheme. you look at the castle and, and then pyramid. and then we used um i say we I, I as i say i don't accept any responsibility for this but but the Bible was used in West Africa, particularly as a very good colonizing tool. Sure, sure you know, sure. You, it's, it, you, you don't have to kill anybody, and it's cheaper than bullets. Hmm. Not only that, once you've got them hooked, they'll pay for them. They'll buy them off you, in order to uh, control their own sublevel of population below the, the major boss, which in that case would probably Queen Victoria. Sir, I will throw this out. In America, we do have something kind of similar to a caste system where it's just how much money did your parents have? And the more money they have, the less laws apply to you, the more you can buy yourself out of fines, the more you yes. can easily persuade people to vote you into office, and you can change yes. rules and legislation to benefit you and your niche needs so that you basically live in a higher tier or a different reality than a lot of other people. Um, mm. It's really unfortunate. I would like to see, Swedish Steve, is it a similar system? Like, I know there actually is royalty, but no one really cares about the royalty in Sweden. But like, how does the no, uh, social hierarchy work? Is it just money or is there something else there too? No, they, they, have, they have no privilege or um, the king and, and queen has uh, and the crown princess. 
uh, but the titles and everything like that, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's just a fancy way for us to say, here, look at them instead of the shabby old uh, politicians we have. Like, if we sent our prime minister, or are you supposed like, yeah, here's an old communist with socialists' idea about how to run a country. It's not really working well. Right. So instead, we have a stupid king that just nods and yeah. The the other thing with Sweden, and feel free to correct me on this, is that like politics are very complicated in 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 the makeup, not so much in like what they agree to. Because in America, we have two parties, right? It's an unfortunate yeah. system, but we have a two party system, blue and red, and that's it. In Sweden, Ooh. it's like fifty shades of blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah or a hundred there's like literally hundreds of different parties and they all have yeah. to come to forums to agree and none of it could be like w one person for every party 200 people in a room and it's like how are we going to come to te tears with anything is that pretty accurate sweet Steve? that's really accurate and now it's it's even worse because uh we kicked the uh, prime minister and <laughs> his party because some uh, yeah they wanted to uh, uh, make it easier to kick someone's um, uh, an employer employed person so then yeah. the communists just kick them but i think the good thing about that is you don't have career politicians who are like you know the ted cruises of the world where it's like you did such a bad yeah. job but i know you're gonna be hired next year right or next um, yeah. now yeah. the faces are always changing and because of that they don't have higher standard of protection in society than yeah. anybody else. Yeah. No, no, no. They, they, they have it much worse. <laughs> 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 we, we, we had a, a party leader. She forget to pay for like a, a small candy bar, and out she went. Nobody seen her since then. Oh man! So, speaking of, speaking of candy bars, John Richards, do you have anything you can show us? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That I might have put it in the bin since then. I don't know. Let's have a look. There you go. Hey. This is our sponsor, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's got hazelnuts in it and chocolate on the outside and a bit of Make sweetness sure. in between. Yeah. And Makes really good maybe, radio. <laughs> what made me think of it... <laughs> what made me think of it is every week... Every week, somebody comes on to the WhatsApp and says, what's the topic? So mm. here you go. This yeah. is the topic. No, whoever says that is never me. It's always typically you, for the most part. Yeah, often, often me, yes. Often you, right. All right. So yes. anyway, sorry for that little dis uh, excursion, radio listeners. We just showed a candy bar, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> uh, George, I want to make sure that you get a chance to weigh in on this. Have you, you know, you've been to New York, you've been to Tennessee, you've seen, you know, in my head, like both sides of the spectrum in terms of cultural life in the U S have you noticed a lot of different kinds of, um, tiers of hierarchy in terms of social dynamics? Are we still here? Uh, he might be even out anyway, we'll head it up to Rocky's then or uh, Rocky. Tell me more about Hinduism and life as a Hindu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or former Hindu. So, or, or atheist groups. Or in, as an atheist, yeah, in, yeah. In that area. How did you start an atheist group? Yeah. So in Hinduism, uh, the whatever system we like to call, Hindus call it as Varna system. Translated roughly in English, we call it as caste system. So it is something kind of sacredly ordained, sacredly by God's will. So that is uh, Bhagavad Gita, I think, uh, chapter 4. Krishna says, this entire system comes from me, you know? Hmm. So it's like direct from God, this caste system, okay? And it's considered as uh, one's uh, sacred duty to follow this. That's the point. Versus in other societies, it need not be sacred. Here it's no. sacred. Yeah, it's ordained morality, more or less. It's like, do yeah. this, not because I'm explaining to you why it's right, but because I said it's right. And right. you have to just authoritarianism. Yes, indirectly, yes. Authoritarianism. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So and, you are now an atheist openly. Are you allowed to be in your area? And if you have, have you found a way to make a community? Uh, mm, to be honest, I, I well, I have, I have, I do have friends. Like, let me be honest. I do run a YouTube channel called Exindo Atheist, and I did share it with John. Yes. So I do my lives. Uh, listed, I had one live. 
and the live was uh, well i don't think many audience will understand what that live was about but it was about something very very nasty as well so you can just check it out there specifically i will share the video uh, but the main thing for me was like uh, if you ask me i was i am I'm still a skeptic as well a skeptic and rational like all it is to be because i i still think that that's the basic foundation of uh, you know understanding things sure so coming yeah. back to hinduism i would say like uh, the vedas kind of are the authority of course if you are if you were to speak to today's hindu he will deny oh, no 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 vedas but the point is most of the rituals which hindus practice today whether it's being like uh, performing that fire sacrifice or havan or yagna or whatever you like to call it they all have derived from vedas and then you have festivals lot of festivals in hinduism uh, i would say many some of them are cultural but some of them holy are, is holy uh, one of them do they count holy uh yes there is but it's kind of there. most of them like are uh, either like uh, some are cultural but some are specific days on for special person okay like birthday of ram birthday of krishna like that some specific days I want to just make some clarifications. He's saying Vedas, V-E-D-A-S. Vedas, Vedas, yeah. V-E-D-A-S. The, yeah. the literal books of truth for Hinduism. Uh -huh. uh, and also, uh -huh. he had made a mention of Pakistan speaking Urdu. Uh, my sister's in Pakistan. And uh, what's cool is Urdu, Hindi, very similar. Like, you can understand one yeah, another. Yeah. But the, Spoken, very, very similar. But the writing is completely different. The writing is completely the different. different. So yeah. if you go to Pakistan, it's written in a script that's functionally different read left to right i believe or even like yeah, right to no left. no not left to right uh, it's right, right to, to left. left right right yeah. and then hindu other way around but they all sound the same it's like what does it say it's the same word why are, why are they two different texts because culturally <laughs> the religion is so infused mm. that there's no means mm -hmm. of writing the same language like that's how infused yeah. it is into the religion it's like literally how i describe myself and talk and, and speak is infused with the religion and that's the separation between the two it's just like we don't like oh, it so yeah. much that we made our own language it has the same spoken text but we just made a new alphabet and there it goes and they're the ones that changed their stuff it's crazy it's crazy though fun thing if you want to learn two languages for one <laughs> learn hindi and then you can go to pakistan and talk to everybody it'll be okay um yeah yeah Rocky. So Hindi is like uh, written in the Devanagari script. So it's uh, you. I, I most people would not have heard of it. I don't think they will understand. But it's a kind of uh, ancient script, yeah. which is developed over a period of time, last thousand years or so. Mm. And then you have, uh, apart from that Hinduism, you have festivals. I just mentioned some of them. Then there is something called as tantrism. I mean, tantric <laughs> practices. I want to know about being an atheist in India. Like, is it open? Is are you allowed to be? Is there, is there uh, fear in, on your part? I mean, look, the thing is, you might be atheist personally, but you can't propagate it in public. Hmm. That's the point. What under what kind of repercussions? What kind of consequences would happen to you? Uh, we had a couple of rationalists who have been killed in the last seven or eight years. Wow. And, uh, some four of them, four or five of them have been killed. by the fringe right wing uh, let's say uh, fringe hindu group let's put it that way okay wow. and uh, also speaking you know in personal life you can be atheist but the thing is the moment to tell in public i am atheist i don't believe in god and i don't want to follow this ritual uh, you know people back of your behind they'll be cursing you or if you ridicule certain things from scripture which mm. might be true it's actually true if it's there in scripture but you ridicule it then the repercussions are that uh, there will be sedition law on you or there will be some case against you or there will be case like a uh, action of blasphemy against you but that's got, mostly by the fringe hindu groups who do it i got one last question about hinduism it's polytheistic right so like mm -hmm. i've seen people believe in gods that look very very nuanced to me Is it possible to like yeah. say hey I believe in this set of Hindu gods but not that one and even though someone like really believes in that one it's like yeah but I'm not going to believe in the god of Lanjo Yeah yeah that that that, 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 that does great. happen that does that happen does, does that lead to conflicts there's like my god of Lanjo yes, yes the stains out of my clothes every day I don't believe <laughs> it. Like, 
I'm, I sound facetious, yeah, yeah. but it's actual thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Exit. Yeah. Uh, are the are the gods specialists or generalists? I mean, does Ganesh do all the same sort of services as I don't know, uh, um, sexy Kali, for example, <laughs> or, or do they have their own little powers? distinct from each other uh, i mean look i think most generally what uh, here see the problem is hinduism is not something like uh, as a community taught in public it all starts from family based that's one thing we need to understand in the society so uh, usually if a child is there he is been told that ganesh is someone who is a signal of auspicious time and he removes the obstacles and those sort of things and all those are. and you know uh, to be honest sexy kali is there which hindus don't know <laughs> but that but that is but that is a tantric practice that is Tantrism. it's community driven it's culturally driven so like basically what he's saying is like every generation will have a different impression of the same god similar to how yeah. we would have as americans you larry has his version of spider-man I have my version mm -hmm. of Spider-Man, Tom Holland, yeah. and and maybe no, mine's Miles Morales. Let's go. And then somebody else would have their version of Spider-Man. We'd all talk, and I'd know we're generally talking about Spider-Man, but I know specifically he's thinking of a completely different one than I am. Yeah. But we're willing to agree it, with each other if it means we can hate on the Iron Man team, right? It, it uh, depends whether you've seen Spider-Man one, two, or three. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know, you you have know, the you know, one, one group, so, uh, one group of uh, people who worship one god like a mm. Lord Vishnu group mm. worships, considers Vishnu as superior. And there is another group who consider Hindu God Shiva as superior. Mm. Right. Yeah. But there is a boss there God, is... isn't there? There's a boss God that does the creating and destroying. Isn't that Vishnu? Or... Uh, the creation is by Brahma. Unfortunately, oh, there is no sect for Brahma. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody worships that. that. That's based on certain story that he was cursed. So Larry, you okay. got a confused look on your face, but we have, you know, even in Christianity, it's very based on paganism, which, you know, came from more or less a lot of the gods from Sweden. Like the days of our week are, are essentially Norse gods, right? Mm -hmm. And so like, I'll, I'll throw this one out. Um, are you, do you have any familiarity with any of the pagan gods that like we, that we have as I part have of all culture? I have a little bit about the Egyptian god, then Zeus and... Oh, that's Thor. so funny. Because when I say pagan... I don't think in my head Egyptian, but yes, that would qualify as a pagan god because it's just yeah. not a Christian and god. And then you right? have Mesopotamian wow. god, and then you have Greek gods. Yeah, you have the Greek gods, you have the Roman gods. Yeah. yeah and even a little bit of pre Zoroastrian gods of Iran. And pre Zoroastrian gods of Iran are very similar to Hindu Vedic gods. Swedish Steve, are you familiar with? Any of these gods or how yeah. have you have you paid a lot of attention or I know you understand them as a mythology, but like you're probably more well versed yeah. on like Thor and Tears than we are in Loki and etc. There are uh, multiple um, that similar like Thor and uh, uh, Parj Parjanya, Parjanya, mm -hmm. uh, the one with the um, the sword that rides over the sky and creates thunder, and. Cool. Uh, uh, um, Mm, oh, it's it's a thunderstorm outside, so I'm a little bit occupied in my head. It's a, it's a thunderstorm outside. Hey, uh, ha, ha, ha. I think the main takeaway is that like none of the pagans have a, a concrete, identical impression of who Thor is, who Odin is, who Loki is, even among the place where they came from. Like you talk to a different person, you're going to get a slightly different story each time. Is that pretty close? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have like the north one is uh, more uh, of um, uh, Norway has has uh, the same one, but the further you came come to uh, Germany, the more uh, uh, exchanged. Oh. Yeah, I have to go and get some <laughs> stuff inside. Man, <laughs> you have. Well, thank you for coming over.
Larry, yeah, thanks for having me. Why are you feel it? Well, the thing the thing I wanted to do is tell Steve about a a, a Netflix series called uh, The Almighty Johnsons uh, that he might be interested in because it's a it's a group of like brothers family who lives in uh, New Zealand that happen to be displaced Norse gods. Yeah. Uh, and uh, their powers are greatly diminished, but they still have them. And it's it's a lot of fun. And I thought he might be interested, but maybe along when he those watches same lines. The episode back. If anyone had a chance to watch <laughs> Bewitched, it. classic episodes of Bewitched still holds up. Still holds up. Elizabeth yep. Montgomery, yeah. wonderful yep. show. Yep. Guys, we're running towards the end of the show. John Richards, what happened to our sponsorship with uh, Topic? I haven't got, I haven't seen anything happen to us. What's going on? <laughs> I've retired it. Come in the bin. <laughs> He's made a presidential decision, executive yeah. order. We yeah, no yes, longer... yes, absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Short lived. Yep. It was short lived. So I was going to. I was going to say about my favourite gods. You know, I've got two. I've got in in the interest of equality. I've got a female goddess, okay. which is uh, Cloacina. I like her because she keeps the sewers of Rome flowing smoothly. That's an essential job. That's an essential. And job. then I like, I, I like Uncle who is the creator deity of the Zulu nation. Cool. I just like the cool. sound of the name. I So if Dread Pirate was here, obviously we'd be talking about uh, the great pasta in the sky. I don't know if yes. the, the great noodley lord has his own name, but there you go. My favorite god in, in the world of mythology is death, probably from the Game of Thrones universe, because you only have to say one thing to death, and that's not today, and I love it. And it's like he doesn't ask anything else other than just that. I'm like, I dig it. I dig uh-huh. it. George, we've been talking a lot about gods today. Did you have a favorite one that you wanted to talk about? Nope. I can't hear you, my friend. Are you on mute? He's probably on mute. But it sounded like a no. Bakish, thank you so much for joining us on the show today and, and, and letting us know more about your culture. Hope you stay safe. Uh, props well, to you for yeah. out your full, whole, full name. Is there anything you'd like to say before you uh, head out? You're on mute. Rocky, you're muted. It's okay. It's okay. It looks a little hectic where he's at. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so if you are keeping my last point, the only thing I can say is two things keep this Hinduism going. One is caste. Other is the idea of spirit or atma, which we like to call. That's foundation. That's the only two things that's like an engine oil which runs this. Okay. And then and third are rituals. So these three things mainly. And if you talk about superstition, I won't mention just one. There are many, many, many of them. Yeah. And, and Raksith, you'd like to promote your YouTube channel, wouldn't you? Which is Ex Hindu Atheists. Yes, yes. Ex Hindu Atheists. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, you can find me on Let's Chat. This is the, you're most likely seeing it on YouTube now. We'll be here next week too, hopefully with more guests from around the world. Larry, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's going on with you? How, how have you been doing? I heard you're like this really big guy on atheism, but I, you know, you haven't really told me what it's all about. So I don't understand what's going on there. I'll have a book to that. What? But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. It's called Is it atheism as cool as your shirt? Is it as cool as your shirt? Oh, it's cooler than my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's called Atheism, What's It All About? It's available on Amazon. Uh, my, most of my content that's in the book is in the uh, digitalfreethought.com blog I have. So just go to digitalfreethought.com if you're interested. My YouTube channel is called uh, Doubter5 or Larry Rhodes. And if you have any questions for the show, send them by email to askanatheist at knoxvilleatheist.org. We'll answer them on future shows. If you're having trouble leaving religious beliefs, behind you can get help at recoveringfromreligion.org if you're watching this on youtube be sure to like and subscribe this has been the digital free thought radio hour remember everybody is going to somebody else's hell the time to worry about it is when they prove that heavens and hells and souls are real until then don't sweat it enjoy your life thanks very much for the special guest rakshi sradiran i probably butchered that (laughs) but i will see you next week say bye everybody bye everybody bye 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 from india have a happy weekend (laughs) so 
I heard a voice in my head that told me atheism was true. <laughs> 